Hi friends, Misha Crossing here. Welcome to the series finale of my Let's Play Birthdays The Beginning series. Uh, so last episode we evolved literally all the humans, every single human, we evolved them. Uh, they were like Homo erectus, the first real human, and then ancient humans, and now modern humans? Are those the three humans? I think so. We just got modern humans, and now our focus is basically just to make their civilizations prosper and to evolve more stuff as we go. So you can see modern human there is the last thing that we got. Let's go see... Well, we already captured them. But let's just go take a look around our world. Their civilizations are already booming quite nicely. I know they need these olive trees in order to, to survive pretty well, as well as this wheat, which is all around here. What are these guys? Ancient humans. Okay, and then these are Homo erectus. Yeah. So they're both doing super well. Let's see. Oh, here is the modern human, I think. Yes, just got 520 of them. But if we let time pass, they should grow a bit more. So I might just let a little bit of time pass before really altering the land at all. I've worked on my mountain some. I kind of wanted to complete it before filming the series finale, but it's just a lot of work, <laughs> as you can imagine. Or as you might know if you've played this game. But we still have a pretty cool snowy environment up here to hopefully hopefully get some cool stuff up here. And the mountain looks cool from like, you know, this angle. <laughs> so increase modern human population. Okay, so this is our goal. Increase modern human population to 260,000. The way to do that is it's said to have a lot of flat land near the sea, which we do. So I'm just gonna let time pass a bit and see what happens. Yeah, they're already increasing. They already doubled their population, tripled their population. So I'm gonna just move time forward until there's a bit of a, a standstill. Um, was that something brand new? No, that was not something brand new. That's stuff we had before. But let's take a look-see at the modern humans now. Oh, is this there? This is the modern humans cottage. Look how cute it is! I can raise land up around it. Should I raise a lot of this land up and give them a nice whoopsie-daisy? <laughs> Sorry about your house. Give, give them a nice bit of land right here. So I'm just gonna connect this river to this pond over here because we had done that before and I think I needed to decrease the moisture level over here for some reason so we quit but or I took away the uh, the river, but I think it's good to bring it back now. Looks a bit more connected. Okay, let's let a little bit more time pass. Then we might alter some land or give some seeds of mutation or evolution. We need to take a look at the evolutionary tree. See if there are a few more species we can evolve before the end of this series. Modern humans are doing well. They have 30,000 already. 43,000. Jesus. 63,000. Yeah, they're doing so freaking well. We're gonna get to that 120,000. Or how much was it? 260,000? I think it was 200 something. Before we know it. The land is getting more grass grown around it as well, which is nice. Slowly expanding. Are those? Oh, something new. Hello. Oh, I thought these were. What is this? I thought these were uh, Homo erectus little. Their little huts over here for a second. 
Uh, what did we just get? Let's go see. It is over here. Actually, a new thing. Oh, it's right in front of me. It's not this guy. We've had him before, right? Yeah. Um, oh, this guy. This, I can't tell if he's black or like a really, really dark green. Cool. The crocodilus. The crocodile. Oh, he's just a regular crocodile. Lives near cool, calm shores and eats anything that gets too close. That mouse beside him needs to watch the hex he's out then. Modern humans are spreading around. Oh, look, they got little puffs of smoke coming out of their chimneys. Their houses and villages are so colorful. Oh, shit, they're over here, too. <gasps> they have a... Uh... Is this their capital? Is this... Look, they have a palace. Cool. They're just in the middle of this dry forest. In the middle of... There's just a T-Rex. There's mammoths and bears. <laughs> All sorts of shit around them. We still got lots of birds, lots of, of insects. You'd think Homo erectus would be extinct by now. But no. Alright, let's take a look at the evolution tree. See, see what we can see. See what we can get. There are a lot more... Yeah, there are a lot more butterflies. Aw, but I've lost those butterflies. Rats. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we got one more mousey to go. So is this a mutation? Oh, it is really cold. Adapted to live in extremely cold climates. Excels at finding scarce food. We got some more kitties to go. He needs negative eight to negative two, 13 to 17. This one should be able to come about. Hmm. Maybe I'll just plop around and give some, oh, some mutations. Yeah, I'll definitely give a seed of mutation to the elephant. And to the cow. And to the brown bear. <laughs> okay, I'll start off with those. Elephant, cow, brown bear. Giving some seeds of mutation. Oh, I did want to look and see. So, modern humans, they just need 13 to 23 degrees Celsius, and we are right in that sweet spot. Wheat fields cultivated by ancient humans had a significant impact on their population growth. Maybe I should move some wheat somewhere to another area to let them expand. Like, I don't know, over here, maybe? There's some animals and plants and olive trees already. I think they could do well over there. I just don't know if they would actually, actually want to move. Okay, now where? There's our elephant. Give you a seed of mutation. And that's not the cow I want to give the seed to. It's the cow with, it's like white and light brown. Where he at? Oh, is it this? No, that's a monkey. <laughs> I am going to give this area a vigorous vegetation if I have it. Yes, I do. Because it needs some plants. Moisture level's fairly low. Maybe I'll increase the moisture level, like, right here. Um, yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. I love it. Alright, maybe we'll see this area prosper a bit more. Here's the brown bear I need to give. I need to give the seed of mutation to. What words am I saying? I don't like how everything is so freaking 
condensed into one area. Like there's plenty of grass over here. The elevation doesn't change by that much. And, oh, here's the moo cow that we needed to give the seed to. There we go. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I think I'm going to capture some of this wheat in a mysterious glass jar. Oh, what's in here? Oh, ancient humans are in here. Maybe I should go ahead and plop them somewhere. We'll see. I'll save the genetic info for that. Let's plop it. I feel like right here would just be a good spot. Let me raise this land up. There's fresh water. There's a sea right here. Okay, yeah, maybe right here would be the better spot. There's already animals doing well right here. Yep. And then there's wheat, and then let me give it some water of life. And maybe I'll just go ahead and move the ancient humans over here. Maybe if there are ancient humans here, it would make it easier for modern humans to move over here. I don't know. Anything else? Let me just make sure this area is... <laughs> Should have checked it before I put them here. Ooh, the moisture's a little high for the wheat, actually. So let me use... This area's perfect except for the moisture level. So I'm going to use strong sunlight. Slightly lowers the soil moisture. So over time, we'll see a bit of a reduction in the moisture. And okay, 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 okay. Let's move time forward. Whoa, hello. We got all of those mutations. Was oh, it this guy? Is it this elephant? Is he? Yeah, he's a bit more blue than his friend slash cousin slash ancestor. Loxodonta that underwent mutation, allowing it to live in the forest. It feeds on the leaves of many broadleaf trees that grow in the forest. Awesome. Welcome to the party, buddy. And we've got something new over by the mountain here. Oh, it's the bear that requires, or the, the, the icy bear. Oh, I wish he evolved in a place that actually was suitable for him. Gradually adapted to live in extremely cold lands, becoming the polar bear. It's quite good at swimming in the sea. Oh. Well, I wish I had, like, an icy place with... Like a really cold place with a sea, that'd be cool. I don't think that's even possible though to have an icy place with a sea, with a, a river, a freshwater source, yes, but not, unless I just got the overall temperature of the world really, 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 really cold. It'd be easier to get a lot of these animals in free mode where you aren't required to put certain things in certain places at certain times. <laughs> but it's story mode. Oh, this is the other new thing. <laughs> They're all so icy. They're all the white snowy versions. Uh, boss, boss Terrace that adapted to live in extremely cold climates. Yaks le- oh, it's a yak! <laughs> Leisurely eat grass and serve as livestock for ancient humans. Dope. Welcome. He also did not evolve where he needed to. But None of those that just evolve. I know I could, uh, like, save their genetic info in the glass jar and move them somewhere that's more suitable for them. But I think I need to save. I think I only have one other. No, all my glass jars are out of commission right now. I need to wait a few million years before I can <laughs> move on. Okay, so our ancient humans are doing well right here. We got the olive trees. The wheat's doing fairly well right here as well. I did get the moisture level down to about where it needed to be. Maybe if I move time forward a little bit more, the moisture level will go down even more, because I barely moved time forward at all. 
before those mutations popped up. Oh, something else new. Z maze or something? What was that? Oh, there's two of them. Or there are two new species. Not sure. Um, is this new? The leopard's not new. No, we had it. What is that noise? It's not that guy. Who's new? Who's new here? Oh! There it is! You can barely see it. It's corn! Oh, that's awesome! That's more food for humans. That means they'll prosper more. Also known as corn, this plant was discovered by early humans as their population increased and cultivated as a primary food source. Dope! Awesome. Oh, I really hope that does well. Maybe I should go find... Okay, so it was also... It was in one other place. And I couldn't find it. Oh, it was right in here. I kind of want to give it the water. The water of life. Well, we'll let time pass forward just just a bit before we give it something. It's already at 5,000. Maybe it just doesn't need... Yeah, it's already at 11,000, 23,000. Yeah, that corn's doing mighty fine on its own. Jesus, 92,000? Okay. Don't need to do anything to it. <laughs> wow, all of these guys are doing so well. That's awesome. Nothing's gone extinct in a while. We've gotten a few new things. What are our modern humans at? I haven't seen them pop up in a minute. What if they're like dead? What if they've gone away? And I just haven't even noticed. We have so much corn. Jeez. <gasps> Did we do it? <gasps> I'm sure you'll be happy. Aw, oh, I'm sure you'll be happy to know that it's time to complete our mission. I'm not happy, though. Let's just say I don't really feel emotions to begin with and leave it at that. Anyway, I know I knew all along you'd keep coming back. But now it's really... But now it really is goodbye between us? I managed to fulfill my mission and you get to go home. Sounds like a happy ending to me. I've been programmed to give you standard farewells, goodbye, etc. Good luck with everything. Episode clear! Just like that! Only two stars. I did good. GG. GG, everyone. We cleared the episode, but we still used a seed of evolution. We did not capture a nine-star organism, and we definitely didn't capture all the possible organisms. Oh! Trophy earned to prosperity and beyond. We're definitely- I want to go back into the world and see how everything was doing. I, th I think I can do that. When it was all said and done, it felt so brief. Though I was relieved to return to the real world, I felt sad too. Navi, I wonder what he's thinking about right now. I wonder what that world was in the first place. I still feel like I'm dreaming. Oh well, I may as well go home now. Upon exiting the cave, I was greeted by a familiar forest. I took out the map and hurried home. Once I got out of the forest, there was no way I could get lost. I can see it. My house. I'm home again. And at that moment, though nothing seemed out of place, I couldn't shake this feeling of unease. Maybe I'm just imagining things, I thought as I entered my house. Welcome back. But I didn't recognize the voice. Huh? What's going on? I had never seen this person before. Navi, this isn't what we talked about. What am I supposed to do now? What's a going on? Jeez. Aw, oh, jeez. I don't get this world at all. Aw, oh, Rick. Anytime somebody says jeez, that's what I think of. Oh, wow, and now we get the credits. I didn't know we were that close to, like, the end end of the game. <laughs> look at the start of our world. Look at where look at where we started. Started from the bottom. And now we are here. Thank you all for coming on this journey with me. This was such Did it just save screenshots? 
same name, but another person. <laughs> That's funny. Two game designers had the same name. Look, it wasn't a typo, we promise. Yeah, did it just save a bunch of screenshots from, like, my, my time developing the world, or those screenshots that I took? I'm not sure. I don't remember taking that many screenshots. I don't remember taking any screenshots, so that must be what the game did. It just kind of captured snippets of big moments in the game. I thank you all for coming with me on this journey. This game is really, really fun. It has its flaws. Uh, it's not a perfect game by any means, but, you know, what game is? It's so fun. If you all enjoyed the series, please, I don't ask this often because I don't like it, but please, if you want to, give these videos uh, some thumbs up. It really helps me just reach a larger audience and uh, just gives my videos some more positive feedback, which is great for me. Oh, look at the world developing. It's actually got grass now. <laughs> I like that the world starts out small and you just expand as you go. That part's really fun. The, obviously, the actual evolution aspect of it is is really, really fun, but it just has some flaws where you'll have animals from like three different eras of history living together, or one that went extinct millions of years ago comes back all of a sudden because the conditions happen to be right for it. It's just weird. And of course it makes some leaps in evolution. Not every single part of the evolution line is, is offered in this game, but there's some really, really fun, fun evolutions, some extra like, larger-than-life type evolutions that we didn't get to. There was one tree that lives in the sky that you can apparently get. Uh, there's a massive saber-toothed tiger that rules humans that... <laughs> I think it, the description says that humans have just decided to coexist with this massive... Uh, I don't know exactly what it's called, but basically the shadow of it looks like a massive saber-toothed saber tiger. There's a huge giant squid, this massive giant shark. Lots of stuff that I didn't get to uh, that would be easier to get in free mode. So if, if you have this game, be sure to play in free mode, not just the main story. Because you'll have a chance to get many, many more evolutions than you would doing the story. And there are, there is, there are, there is the end, <laughs> end of the credits, the end of our world. So thank you very much for playing this game. Thank you very much for making this game. It's very cute. It has a lot of heart. Would you like to save? Yes, please. Let's save and then we can, let me do new data and then we can go back into the world and take a look around. Maybe move things forward just, just a little bit. See how everything's doing. We captured a solid 170 organisms during our time in our cube world of birthdays, the beginning. <laughs> <clears throat> so I wonder if we'll load back up and then Navi just won't be there anymore. But we'll be able to, to do whatever. We'll see. Oh, well, there's Navi, but just not, uh, not talking to me, not giving me any, any sort of goal. So let's see what our corn's doing there. <laughs> corn was like the big thing that we got last. 295,000. Ancient or modern humans must have, yeah, they, they got to that 260,000 mark, which that is what, what ended the game, cleared the last episode. Collect some of these items here. Yeah, no, <laughs> no plant growth up there still. How is the temperature about to go down to 13 degrees Celsius? What did I do? 
What did I do to make the temperature lower that much? I don't know. Oh, look, they went away from over here. Wasn't the proper place for them. The wheat didn't really prosper enough, and so ancient humans, I guess, didn't prosper enough either. Oh, well. They're still doing really, really well over here in this crazy, stupid, condensed area. Oh, and modern humans, they're starting to spread over here. They've got a little hut. Let's move time forward a little bit more. It kind of stopped us in the middle of progressing things earlier. So maybe lowering the temperature a little bit will bring about some... Yeah, we got one new thing there. Or... Yeah, okay, okay. It is brand new. Um... Is it this? Okay, it is. I can never remember what creatures, what animals we have, like the snowy, you know, cold climate versions of Megalania that has adapted to freezing temperatures. It preys on creatures that move slower in cold weather. That's smart. That's the way to do it. Ooh hoo hoo. It's so weird moving around with this thing. So yeah, sorry I haven't really worked on the land a lot recently. I know the world looks sort of incomplete, but like I said, it's just, once you get to a world this big, it just gets to be really monotonous and almost too time-consuming to be worth it to shape the land. Don't <laughs> look at all these little guys in the shadow over here. They're doing so well. And we still have so many Homo erectus and so many ancient humans. How many do we have of them? 263,000. Jeez. I like this part right here. Looking at it from right here, this looks so pretty. Looks so prosperous. Okay, we're going to move time forward just... I guess just until we're at a standstill. Don't have anything else new coming about. And at that point, I will end the episode. End the series. Oh gosh, stuff's going extinct because the temperature's going down. But that's okay. Maybe it'll just bring about some some more new things. No big deal. Wow, yeah, lots of things going down. As long as my humans aren't going down, that's not gonna be a huge huge deal. Eight. I don't think that was actually no, okay, that was not actually something new. It was something that came back from from before. Let's look at modern humans. Let me see how their population is doing. 279,000, so still doing fairly well. Ancient humans look like they went down in population a little bit. What else going on in the sea? Not a ton. Not a ton's going on in the sea. Whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> We got some fish on the sea floor and some coral and seaweed. These little guys scampering around, but nothing really interesting going on in here, honestly. Yeah, this is the thing I think that just just came back. And we still have this firestone, warmth stone, whichever that one is over there, trying to make it a different area. Oh no, their little palace went away over here. Maybe they moved their capital over here. Maybe, I wonder if their, this palace, this capital, really does move just when they find a better area. No, because there's little palaces in other areas. I don't know. But let's keep going for a few more minutes. Hi, Margo. Would you like to join us? Still got that dry epithecus. There are just so many animals from different time periods. Like ones that would have been hundreds of thousands or millions of years apart in the actual history of the world. Oh, our autumn fern went extinct. Ooh, was that an actual new thing or did that just come back? Nope, that one just came back. It was uh, a bear of some kind. Was it the icy bear? Was it the polar bear? Did the polar bear naturally come back? That'd be cool. Let me see. 
Oh look, this is all snowy now because the world is is cold enough that this elevation is. Oh yeah, there he is, guys! All the polar bear naturally came back. I'm so happy. He's got an actual stable environment now to live in. Maybe a few other things will naturally. Oh no, so many things going down. Maybe we'll get some other cold climate guys up there. That'd be cool. The temperature's staying at a solid, like, 13, 14 <laughs> degrees Celsius. We might be at a standstill. A lot of things, a lot of populations are going down. But we haven't really gotten anything new besides that polar bear in a second. But grass is spreading in the actual world, which is nice. Okay, it looks like we're at a standstill. Things are just going up and down, haven't really had anything go extinct, or... Oh, whew. this whole area looked blank for a second, I was afraid that... I killed something off. Look at all this corn. Oh my god, we have over a million corn, so that means humans are prospering quite well. Lots of olive trees still. Looks like humans never really made it out of that one basin, though. And most animals didn't either. We have a few animals, like, scattered around out here since I have this firestone right here we've got some of these broadleaf trees the Demetrodon is still here god he will just never go away I think he's gone away and come back about 20 times still have this cold climate T-Rex living literally right beside modern humans as well as Australopithecus which is you know the primate right before Homo erectus living right beside modern humans. A lot of stuff that doesn't make sense, but it still looks cute. Modern humans are making their way up this mountain. And yeah, they've just really prospered down here. They've got a ton of corn, lots of houses and civilizations, mammoths, elephants, crocodiles. This forest over here is still booming pretty well. Got a lot of little guys over here. And then this plateau, it kind of, it was prosperous for a while. It had a lot of insects, some really pretty flowers. And I don't know what happened whenever I changed. I think I brought the elevation of it all up quite a bit. And it just, it never became prosperous again, which is kind of a bummer. And then of course we've got nothing over here and nothing in this corner back there. Everything just stayed pretty condensed right here, which is, in my opinion, a flaw of, of the game. Unless I'm just supposed to move so many things around with the mysterious glass jar to put them in other areas. But most of the time whenever I move something with the glass jar, it doesn't take. Like, it's technically not a great place for it to live, so it, it just ends up dying out or the game just rejects it for whatever reason. I don't know. <laughs> But this area, regardless, looks super nice, very developed. I had a whole, whole lot of fun evolving all of these animals and plants with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the series. A lot of you seem to. This is a really fun, just chill game to sit back and relax and watch. I'll have this Let's Play series up on YouTube for, you know, years to come, probably. I don't know where it would go. If you ever have any suggestions for games that you would like to see me play, please let me know. I'd love to play more games kind of similar to this. I'm going to be replacing this Let's Play series next Saturday by starting up a series of Ever Oasis on the 3DS. It is a, uh, like, adventure RPG, and you're running your own town, your oasis in the middle of the desert, and building balloon booths and keeping them in stock. Bloom booths are like shops, so you're building your shops and keeping them in stock and also going into the desert to adventure and fight monsters 
and it's really really fun I, I'm excited for y'all to watch it if you want to it will be starting next Saturday all right you all have a wonderful day be kind to one another don't forget to be awesome bye <laughs>